Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So today's video is not going to be my normal Sunday reset routine, but this time we're going to be packing to go on a little vacation with the kids and Brandon just to get out because we are on fall break and I did record a lot of what we did on our vacation. So stick around for the end of the video because that's where I'm gonna put all the clips. First, let's go back earlier this week when I made this lasagna soup. It's perfect for the fall season. So let me show you guys how I made it. Okay, we're gonna get through all the ingredients as I tell you guys how to make it, but to start off, you're gonna need at least a half an onion, a couple of cloves of garlic, some butter, and a pound of spicy or regular ground sausage. By the way, I'll have the link to this recipe down in the description box. After your sausage is done and you drain the grease, add 28 ounces of diced tomatoes, do not drain them, 24 ounces of your favorite spaghetti sauce, four cups of vegetable broth or chicken broth, two bouillon cubes, oregano, parsley, basil, salt and pepper, and then you're gonna let that simmer and then you're gonna add a half a cup of heavy cream. Along with the heavy cream, you're gonna add a fourth cup of cottage cheese. I only added just a couple spoons because I was a little bit iffy about cottage cheese, so I didn't put much in there. Next, you're gonna add some Parmesan cheese and let everything come to a simmer. And then last but not least, you're gonna break up about 12 lasagna noodles, add that to your pot and let that cook until the noodles are done. So you can substitute the lasagna noodles for like stuffed tortellini noodles. That would be so good in here. But once you add your soup to your bowl, go ahead and add some mozzarella pearls, let that melt and enjoy. All right, so let's fast forward a couple days. We're gonna start packing for our trip and getting things done around the house before we leave. I just washed all of our bedding and I just noticed that there are still some damp spots on my blanket, but it's okay. I always like to wash all of our bedding before we leave so we can just come back to nice, fresh, clean sheets. So I'm just making up my bed before I start packing. In case you didn't catch what I said at the beginning, we are taking the kids to Atlanta this weekend. We're staying for two nights. When I checked the weather, it said it was supposed to be like in the mid 60s and a little bit cloudy and rainy. You'll see later on that that was all a lie. I'm gonna be taking this cropped puffer vest. I actually ended up wearing this in the car down to Atlanta. I just wore this with all black and I'll show you guys what shoes I wore in a second. Bringing this leather dress, I'm wearing it with the black bodysuit underneath. I just need to go to Target and get some black like sheer tights just in case it's too cold. I planned on wearing them with those boots, but I ended up wearing these Chloe dupes with that dress as well as the vest outfit and they're just so comfortable. We're just going to the aquarium and then the Coca-Cola museum and then a few restaurants, nothing too fancy. So I need a dress comfortable because like I said, we're walking a lot but I'm gonna bring this sweater, I just got that, and then my favorite jeans from Aritzia, then this bodysuit along with this trench coat. This came out in the spring, so it's super lightweight, it's not heavy at all, so it's perfect for this time of year too. These are the main things that I'm gonna be bringing with me. I am gonna be going to Target later on with the kids, before I do that, I'm gonna pack my toiletry bag, my makeup, and all that little stuff, just in case I need to pick up something while I'm out. Moving on to my makeup, whenever I go on a trip, I don't wanna experiment with new makeup or new skincare because I could have a reaction, I could end up hating it and just, it'll just ruin everything for me. So I like to bring all of my essentials, things that I use, 
on a day-to-day -day basis that I know work. I like to throw in my eyeshadow palette when I travel just in case. I'm not huge into eyeshadow like I was in the past, but I still like to throw this one in because the colors on this, perfect for my skin tone. And then I'm gonna throw in my Rare Beauty blush. This is in the color Happy, and then a concealer, and then my brow stylist definer, Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation the e.l.f. halo glow liquid filter this stuff is bomb my mario contour stick another blush this one is by fenty beauty and then my brow wax the fenty beauty lip gloss with one size setting powder and my morphe setting spray and i think that's it oh yeah and my mascara love this one Now that I have my clothes picked out and my toiletries and everything are packed, I'm gonna head to Target for those last minute little things and also to pick out the kids' Halloween costumes before they sell out. Blake wanted to be Harry Potter. He was Harry Potter last year. And so my oldest, Brayden, also wanted to be Harry Potter, but he wanted to be in a different house. So we're gonna get that along with the accessories to go with it. I'm gonna try out these tights to go with that green dress in case it gets too cold. And then I almost got this sweater, but I feel like I have something at home like it. And I wanted to get it to go underneath that puffer vest that I showed you guys, but I ended up putting this back. Picking up some essentials for the hotel room and shower caps for B and the boys. And then I went to the dressing room to try on these cargo pants. I ended up getting those. And then we left and then I had to turn around and go back in the store because I realized I forgot to get the sleeping bags. The kids always wanted sleeping bags and I saw these in Target like a week or so ago. So I went back to get those. Back at home so I can pack so we'll be ready to go in the morning. I added in this asymmetrical like crop tank to go with my jeans. And the other thing I changed out are the pants that I just picked up today and I'm wearing that with this sleeveless bodysuit that looks just like Skims. This is one of my favorite lounge sets right now. It's like a little cozy, like teddy bear set along with these slippers. The scent of skin is strong enough. Hold down a little bit closer, babe. Let's see if I can warm you up. Oh, babe, snuggle. Now that I'm done packing, I'm gonna get some things done around the house before we leave, starting with putting some laundry away. And in case you guys are wondering, I'm listening to this book called Verity. It is crazy. If you've read this book, comment down below because let's talk about it. Just wait, let me drive you crazy, my cousin baby. Wanna stay, let's get stupid lazy. Stop, this is my favorite part Hold me like it's out of style I had already picked out the kids' clothes, so I'm just gonna throw that in their suitcase right now. Since we're gonna be gone a short time, they're gonna share a suitcase. They do get to bring a backpack with whatever they wanna put in it. But as far as their suitcase, they each have one packing cube that I'm gonna be using. So each one holds everything they need. So all their clothes, pajamas, underwear, and socks. All right, back to getting things done around the house before we leave in the morning. I always empty my dishwasher and I make sure there are no dishes in my sink when we leave. I also take out the trash because I don't wanna come home to a smelly house because that's just not something I wanna experience after being gone for a few days.
So on top of just wanting a clean kitchen to come home to, like I said earlier, we wash all the bedding before we leave as well. But since this is just a short trip, I'm only gonna be doing a few extra things before I leave, like vacuuming, unplugging all of my plugins and appliances, and making sure all the windows are locked. It's the next day and we are on our way to Atlanta. Two hours later, we stopped at Bucky's to charge the car and take a quick little stretch break. If you have never been to a Bucky's, definitely make your way to one. It's the largest gas station you'll probably ever see in your life. You can literally grab a shopping cart and full on shop in here. They have everything you would ever need. It's pretty insane. <laughs> hours later we made it to Atlanta safe and sound our hotel room greeted us with our name or Brandon's name on the screen we just got you know a simple hotel room two rooms a decent bathroom here I am sanitizing all the knobs so we changed and headed over to bar of Thailand which is like an upscale Thai restaurant that's pretty new in Atlanta and let me tell you this place did not disappoint drinks were good the food was good they had a live DJ in there yeah it was a vibe Next morning, we headed over to the Georgia Aquarium, which is the largest aquarium in the US. And we just so happened to be there during the Haunted Seas experience, which is pretty much just like a lot of stuff was Halloween themed and all the shows were Halloween themed. So it was just so much fun. When I tell you we were here for hours and still didn't see everything, it was so big and I did not expect to be wowed like this. So me and Brandon have been here a couple of times in the past and I came as a child before, but it's been a year since we've been to Atlanta and even to this aquarium. This is the first time we are bringing the kids and they had so much fun. It's not your average aquarium. It was so interactive. There were sea creatures, mermaids, pirates walking around. They had like a big food area to stop and get lunch if you wanted to. There were a ton of shows to go to. This is one of my favorite areas in the aquarium. This was actually a tunnel that you walked through and it made you feel like you were underwater. Fast forward a couple hours later, we're done with the aquarium. Now we're gonna head over to Johnny Rockets. We actually walked because there was a lot of things in walking distance right outside the aquarium and the kids wanted burgers and fries. And this place is really cool if you've never been here. It's like an old school like diner type restaurant where they have like burgers, fries, um, milkshakes, things like that. So we went there for lunch. The food was actually pretty good. not sure what this area right here is called it's right outside the aquarium but it was really cool the weather was perfect and the kids were able to just run around for a little bit but our next stop was world of coca-cola and it's pretty much a museum where you learn all about coca-cola and the products that they make
We all thought this was really cool. And again, me and Brandon have been here a couple of times in the past, but this is the first time the kids have been. Um, they learned a ton about Coca-Cola. They saw a ton of vintage signs, things from the 1996 Olympics. They had a whole area where they talked about the secret formula. And at the very end of your tour or of the museum, you go into this huge room where you can taste all types of Coke products from around the world that really aren't available here in the US, only in this museum. So they were able to just go crazy and taste as much as they wanted to and finally have their very first cup of Coca-Cola. They've had sips here and there, but they've never really had their own little cup of Coca-Cola, but they were happy and I'm so glad they had so much fun tasting all the different products from around the world. After that, we went to the gift shop and got some souvenirs. I didn't even film that. Kids were also able to witness their first protest. We told them all about what was going on. So we just sat there and watched that for a second before heading to the car. also able to charge our car while we were out and about at the aquarium and the museum. We went back to our hotel for a little bit and walked to this area called Atlantic Station. I'm not sure if they do this every weekend, but the weekend we were there, they had a ton of small businesses set up and then they had just a bunch of other like stores and restaurants and little things to do for the kids. They had a big TV screen out here. We ended up going to dinner out here at Yard House. It was really good, but that's gonna be it for this video. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe if you want, and I will see you guys on the next one.